Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So I just wanted to show you guys my everyday going out type of look um, that I do. And I did a little bit of a sparkle and just kind of high coverage, but glam. Okay, hope you like it, keep watching. Okay, hi guys, welcome to my channel, or Mars channel, I guess. I don't really know what channel it's gonna be on. <laughs> Whatever channel. This is my gift star. Yeah. Uh, all right. So anyway, the first thing I'm gonna do is moisturize because I didn't moisturize yet. So I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. How much is it? I. <laughs> it's a fancy. <laughs> and I'm just gonna rub that in. All my products are actually really expensive, so this should be a luxury. <laughs> Sorry guys. You should probably be a little bit more delicate with your face. No, I'm not. And then I use under my eyes the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Cream, which I don't think is that expensive, but I don't really know. But it's from, they have it at Sephora and I think they have it at maybe Nordstrom too, I'm not really sure. Okay. Now since I'm old <laughs> and And what about it? And what about it? I like to use before I put on everything else a um, this is a Kylie concealer in, um, I think it's Himalaya. Yeah, like Himalaya. And it has a pink undertone type of thing. It's like a peachy. And this is, I used to like kind of cancel out my under eye dark circle area since I work so hard. <laughs> my favorite. And this is the Universal Dior Backstage um, Glow. And I use like about that much. And it's really liquidy. And I apply it with this Marc Jacobs brush, which is called the Face Number no. Two. And I like to focus this somewhat on the high points of my face, but I put it everywhere. I just really want my cheekbones to have the most of it. And then the excess, I'll just put it everywhere just to like have glow. And you can mix it with your foundation, but I think it makes a better effect if you just put it on before. Okay. Now I'm gonna do foundation which I'm gonna use a mixture of two because I wanna get rid of this color and it's a little bit lighter and if I'm not tan. And this is gonna be the number 3.5 from Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. And I just do like a small squirt of that. And then my more matched color is 5.25. And so I'll use like a little dab of that and I might have to add more, but. Um, we don't want my beauty blender too damp. Right. And I'll just start putting this on. And like I put so much um, concealer contour and stuff on after that it'll like build more coverage I guess. Yeah, this is one of the best foundations. Yeah, I think I think we've gotten like a lot of our friends on it. It has a good, a good amount of coverage, but it still looks expensive. And it's not that expensive, like compared compared to other, to other ones. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do my under eyes, and so I actually go light and then match my skin. So I do the Giorgio Armani on uh, number one, 
concealer. See, do the opposite. Yeah, and the only reason why is because on me, for some reason, when I take photos, it ends up looking like I have raccoon eyes. So I feel that when I do, like it hasn't happened to you, I feel like, but I see it for me. So I do the light first and then I do the matched color. But I feel like it totally depends on yeah, your, like your skin color and like, like how it's gonna show in pictures and stuff. And I use like a tinier beauty blender just to be a little bit more precise. Use um, the more matched color. And so this is gonna be Maple, the Kylie um, concealer, but Tarte, Tarte Shape Tape is also really good. It's just a little bit more drying. So like, I think this is a little bit creamier. So I like, I like it a little bit better. And now since I kind of like canceled out, having an, a lighter under eye, even though it's still gonna do the purpose of concealer, like make it all kind of matched and covered. Um, what I've been doing now is using nice, I watched a tutorial where they said like Ariel was using this. It's the Makeup Forever and it's the Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Foundation Powder. So it looks like this. So what I'll do now is I use, I use the same beauty blender and I'll just go like this into it. And I just use that right here. And just kind of not bake really, it's just like going to lighten it. And kind of bring back that lightening effect that I took away from yeah. and you can see like how yeah. blurred it is now and then now I'm gonna do my I like to do cream contour before I do the powder just because I started getting in the habit of it I don't like it so um I'm gonna use it's actually a concealer but it's um deep 53 and it's the Marc Jacobs um dark it's a dark color i put it on the back of my hand like this and then i'll use i have a bunch of these little brushes that sephora had rouge had given out i don't know so then i'll put this into my hand like just dab this into my hand and then i'll start dabbing this onto my face now I don't want it to be so harsh, so I use the same amount of product like on both sides and start blending it. And I know that Chanel has the, um, this one that's really popular, Soleil de Tan, and you can do like the same effect with this if you like a little bit lighter of a color. Um, my sister and I use it pretty often too. Yeah, mostly when I have a tan, yeah. I use it as like a foundation. Yeah. And so you can see this is already giving me like a little bit more of a tan, but not too much. And once I set it with powder, it'll be a lot more subtle, but it kind of helps me when I'm gonna do my uh, powder later. Do my setting powder. And I'm using the um, Pat McGrath, and this is the shade Light Medium 2. And this is like a little Sephora brush. It's literally used so much, it has nothing on it, but my sister got me, told me about it. It's really good. <laughs> and I just get like about that much powder on it, and I kind of not really bake with it, but like I put it on pretty heavily in the same spot. And I only use this powder in like my eye area and like my T-zone. And then I'll use a different powder for the rest of my face because this is pretty, um, I would say it's pretty like setting. Like it's gonna, it's a really good powder. Like I want the rest of my face to not be so. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury. This is like my favorite powder ever. It's the Air Blush Flawless Skin and I'm using it in the shade two medium. It looks like this. And I literally carry like three of these at all times. I don't know this. And then this is the La Mer powder brush. Jacqueline Hill loves that brush. Yeah, it's, I'm obsessed with it. And if you want like a dupe for it, I guess, per se, a dupe like Jacqueline Hill made in her brush set, 
like almost a replica of this. She actually said in her video she loved this brush so much that she took it to them when they were making her sets. You can get one at the Morphe store or like probably Ulta or wherever they have her brush collection for a lot cheaper, but it's pretty much a replica of this. But when she made hers, I had already had this one, so. And I'll just powder my whole face just with that. Then, um, I usually like to do my eyes now before I do my um, powder, blush, and, and contour, I guess, or whatever, because I want to leave that for last since it comes off the fastest. Blush, like, usually leaves your face the fastest, so I start, I do my eyes now. So, I'm going to use, I'm going to do, I guess, um, I'm going to do blue smoky eye, no, I'm just kidding. I'm going to do browns, and I might, I know, right? And I might add like a little bit of sparkle on my eyelid and then just do browns. Alright, so this is my favorite palette from Marc Jacobs. It's the 750 Editorial and it has like a lot of good colors in it. So I'm going to use this color here, which is called take a memo and i'm going to use that color to as like a base for my eye and then i'm going to use this chanel palette which is called less for ombres which is a palette that has all these browns and a red for my transition colors. And I'm gonna just dab into these top two colors here. And I'm gonna go along my crease with it. And then I'm gonna use that same color under my eyes for that same combo under my eyes too. Go into this is the mothership palette from Pat McGrath. Um, looks like this, and I'm gonna use and I'm gonna use my finger, fully pigmented, and it's like you don't need a lot. And I'm just gonna do a little bit right here. And like you always want to attract light to like the center of your eyeball like that's where most people look so that's like the area you want to have the most color excuse my nails coronavirus has stopped me from being able to get my nails done so i'm going to use this jacqueline hill brush this is the jh43 it's like a flat brush like this and i'm going to go back into my Chanel palette and I'm just going to take these the same two browns and just use them to like do almost like in my under eye. Other side. Look. So I'm going to use the uh, Benefit Precisely My Brow pencil. It's my favorite one. Now I have really defined eyebrows but um, but they are dark and since my hair is pretty light, I mean, it's going out now also because of coronavirus, <sighs> but I want them to be more brown than I want them to be black. So it's more even for color than it is for definition because I could probably just use like eyebrow gel and be done with it. So I'm gonna go underneath the eye. I brush my eyebrows here as up obviously and then do hair like strokes in the front. Now, I know that like I saw something about how the top of your eyebrows should be more defined than the bottom of your eyebrows. I'll do the opposite. Um, but I don't think- Cause it, I like a boy brow. Yeah, I think it doesn't really matter. It's really your preference. And also you have completely different eyebrows than me, so. And then once I kind of define them, 
a little bit more, I just run through with the back to make sure it still looks like hair. And then I just use a clear brow gel. Anastasia has one. I have a brown one as well, but um, I'll just use that to keep them in place. Now, I'm gonna do my eyeliner and then I'll do my brow bone and, and I'm using the brown color, which I'm not sure, it's called Truffled by Marc Jacobs. It's a really thin, whatever, I like brown liner, so. And like my sister said, I don't really got cat eye shape, so I gotta do regular. And the good thing about this brush is you can really do your water, I mean, this pen is you can do your water line like in two seconds, so it's so easy. All right. Now for my inner corner, I'm sadly about to be out of this. It's a limited edition from Chanel. It's called, it's 987. I literally pray to God that they have it again because they don't have it. I never see it anymore. And I'm just gonna use this for my inner corner. Um, it's, if they don't have this, I'm just gonna get the one my sister uses cause it's really pretty, but it's a similar effect. Yes. And then now I'm gonna just do my brow bone which I use with like kind of a blending brush. And this is in like the Sephora set or whatever. And that same exact palette I was using before, there's a color that's called Next Season. And I just take like the tiniest little bit and I use this to highlight my brow bone. All right, so this is a Tom Ford. This is their um, bronzer brush. And I'm using the um, Marc Jacobs um, Tantastic 104, and this is what it looks like. And it has a really good mirror, so. And I literally just dab it a little bit, and I'm just gonna go over the same spots that I did my cream contour. And just like pretty much powder it. It'll just pretty much set it, but I don't wanna get crazy because you can already see it through. And then I'm gonna use the same bronzer to do my nose contour and I'm using this NARS Kabuki brush. My nose is pretty thin already. I don't really have an issue with the shape and I'm not going to really do much to it. So I just pretty much dab this in and because of the shape of this brush, I literally just go like this along the sides of my nose. And like the color actually looks really good. You can't really like see it much. I'll just dab it a little bit with my powder, but it looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta brush, the one my sister <laughs> said she didn't care much about. Okay, thank you so much. And this is my favorite blush ever. I'm obsessed with it. It's Winter Kiss by Kylie, and it's like has a blue purple undertone. And I go pretty crazy with it, so get ready. And I like to put this in like the balls of my cheeks because I have really good cheeks. The apples of your cheeks. Whatever the app is. Because it's like big bolas. That's what it reminds me of. And I'll put that there. Okay. And then for my highlight, I'm going to be using the Guilty. And this is by Marc Jacobs as well. This brush is from MAC. I don't know the number. It looks like one. 99 maybe but i got this because i got my makeup done a couple years ago for like a, a party or something and the lady told me she really likes using this for um highlighting the face because it's so tiny and like you can kind of do it loosely so i use this to highlight here and i'll use it for the bridge of my nose and a little bit up here and that's and then I need, I'm going to set my face before I put mascara and lip gloss or lipstick on. And this is the Morphe spray that my sister uses as well. It's, I'm obsessed with it. It comes off like an, it's an aerosol can. So it sprays evenly and it's literally last. My sister got dunked in a pool one time and she came out and her makeup was the same. Facts. Since I use the same mascara as my sister anyway, which is the Marc Jacobs one. And I use the travel size too. I mean, I have the big one, but I use the travel size too. because. 
Okay, so, and I kind of like a clumpy under eye mascara. So I'm not really like super concerned if it gets like on. Me too, I'm the same My way. under eye. So now I just need to put my lipstick on. So I'm going to use. That's mine. Oh no. No, it's not. <laughs> my God, get on stealing from me. Show them your case. Show them the whole, the whole thing that you got. This thing? Yeah. Oh, these are all my Kylie liners and um, lip lip glosses. Cause I'm obsessed with the Kylie um, lip kits. Cause I think it's amazing that the lip liners and the um, lipsticks are the same. This is the Kylie, it's called Kylie. And I'm gonna overline like a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna color it in. And I only overline my cupid's bow. Um, Cause it looks stupid if I, anything else. Right. And then I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I like this mix. Okay. Okay, so this is the finished look in the light. You can see, like, kind of the contour, the blush, everything more in this light. You can't really see the highlight right now, but 